Tarka.org. Welcome to the session. Thank you for being here today. Uh, more people entering as it is. Uh, with me today are my teammates Chiku and Didi. And we have our host, Kushpu, who's here. And uh, we have a quite an exciting session that we are. Yes, thank you for being here. Uh, so in this session, uh, we are going to be covering 10 plants. We'll let Kushpu share more details about that. Uh, it's part of our series to help all of our audience to be a little more sustainable, little things that we can all do at home. And so that's what we're doing here today. Uh, Kushpu is our plant expert that has kindly agreed to do this with us. And uh, yes, Chiku, can I request you to share the slides, please? Just opening slides. Uh, and in the chat, you can actually start uh, putting questions down for our guest so that, and we have uh, Didi and Chiku who will be arranging for uh, the questions together. And we will put them forward to Kushpu as it goes forward. Uh, yeah, welcome to Webinar Wednesdays. Uh, this is a session on kitchen gardening and uh, we have with us Kushpu. Uh, we, all our content is helped to contribute towards an equitable, inclusive, and sustainable India, where people are more equal, we're more inclusive, and more sustainable. And uh, you find all our content, uh, and we do this twice a month on webinar Wednesdays is about this. Next slide, please. Next slide. This is our team. This is our last year's picture. It's a little bigger now. Uh, we are about 20 people strong. and. Uh, uh, and uh, this is some pictures from our work on ground uh, before pandemic and also some during pandemic. You can see some cycling workshops uh, when uh, the regulations relaxed a little bit in November, December, we had a lot of events happening on Church Street. You can see some cleanups, uh, tree planting drives that have been happening over the past, uh, I think these are past 18 months, in fact, yes. So um, yeah, and now I'm going to request Kushbu to take the stage and uh, yes, over to you, Kushpu, please. Uh, you, we will be supplying you questions from the audience as and when it comes. Everyone, please put your questions in the chat. Thank you, I'm going to mute myself. Thank you so much, Jacob. And hi everyone. I hope everybody's safe and sound at their home. So okay. here we are, uh, so here we are going to talk about the kitchen gardening. So, and why we should do uh, kitchen gardening. See, this is like a meditation for me. And once you start, and it will be a med meditation for you as well. So when you are growing uh, food on, on your own, it means you are eating or having more nutri nutri nut nutrition and more minerals and more antioxidant food, uh, more anti uh, antioxidant rich food. And second thing, you are more active so you are burning more cal calories because gardening is not a job it's where you have to sit right you have to run on your toes and at the same times you are running on your toes at the same time you are burning more calories and you are staying fed mentally and physically both and third thing it will be a great escape for you from your screens from your mobiles and you will be able to you know feel the nature and environment as well and fourth, and the most important thing that you are going to save some money as well for you when you are growing food at home. And third thing, this is how you can you can take small step to save your environment. So today, uh, I'm going to talk about few seeds. Those are very easy to grow at home. And uh, uh, by following small uh, steps, you can grow wonderful herbs and small, small uh, vegetables at home. And I'm telling you, this is the joy you will get when you see a sapling growing from a seed. That is the incredible happiness, which I feel when I see a sapling growing. So this is how I'm going to start. So uh, we have you know, listed some seeds over here. Uh, like, first of all, I just want to tell you that there are some seeds their their growing process is exactly the same, exactly the same. But it, the timing of saplings 
are totally different like some saplings get ready in a week some saplings takes time then they grow in like 10 days or or more than that so it depends on the weather and depend on the seeds as well so first of all i just want to show you a small workshop on the coriander seeds how you can grow coriander seeds at home by following small small steps and these are very easy to do at home and i'm not using any fancy stuff you will find everything at your home and you will be able to grow right so am i visible at, properly jacob yes if everyone in the audience can see kushbu please put a uh, asterisk in the chat or just say yes in the chat please we need to know if you can see please thank you so first of all thank we you. need a container in which we are supposed to grow our coriander seeds so this is the plastic waste i use so i'm trying to you uh, know uh, control my plastic waste by growing these saplings as well because i am using all my plastic the boxes which i get from the you know uh, swiggies and zomatos and from the grocery stores we get stuff from the uh, uh, we get stuff in plastic boxes right and what we do we just throw them away but i don't do that i keep those handy to grow my veggies in that so th th this is the box which i where i have put some holes if you can see small hole you can make holes by using a knife but be careful while doing it right so this is the box now second thing i need it's soil soil is very important when you are growing a sapling saplings are uh, no uh, seeds are then seeds are growing their roots are very fragile and very tiny so they need soil very you know airy and you know Uh, light so roots can spread easily and can uh, and that sapling can grow easily so when you start seeds you need cocoa peat specifically and the ratio will be 80% of cocoa peat and 20% of vermi compost i repeat 80% of cocoa peat and 20% of vermi compost so i have made the soil mix already can you see the soil mix here it is very porous and can you see it, it it is very porous and very light so i'm going to put the soil in it right let me put the soil can't see you so let me show you this this is how it's looking now i have filled half of the container with the soil not full only half of the container first right so now i will keep this box aside and now i have to prepare the seeds and you and you know what you don't need to buy fancy seeds from the market you you can get it in your grocery storage these seeds we use generally in cooking right so don't go outside and looking for the fancy seeds these seeds are equally good what you buy from the market so you are not supposed to put these seeds directly what you have to do is i'm taking this paper and i will put the seeds in the paper on the paper and look here can you see can you see the seeds on the paper anybody can answer me yes, yes okay yes yes okay fine so i will cover the seeds with the other one and i will take the same bowl, bowl and i will churn the seeds make sure you will not harm the seeds and don't make the powder you have to just turn so they can split right just just churn the seeds like this or you can use a rolling pin as well so okay see you need seeds it should be in half like this not the whole we can't seed. see we can't see kushbu it's your hand is not on the camera um yeah. can you see now a little back a little back a little more back please no 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 your hand should be a little more back 
pull your back hand towards your up, yes. up 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 yeah now little up, up. The, yeah yeah that is it yeah so can you see this is the yeah, half yeah. seed supposed to be split, uh, splitted not the whole sum you are not supposed to put the whole seed right so for the splitting i use this method you can use the rolling pin as well so it is more easier to do it right so and for the bed, better result and the faster growth what i do i soak them in the night after splitting the seeds you have to soak the seeds in the night because i have to show you right now so i didn't do that because it will be a mess here because seeds you know they they were you no know, wet and all so that's why i didn't do that if you soak the seeds in the night that would be really good so before using just split the seeds in the night and put them in the water and next day put them in the soil okay is it clear so now what i am going to do for example this is the box can you see the box now right here soil box A, a little lower. We can. We only half the box can be seen. Yeah, yeah, better. Now it's perfect. Yeah. So box my... ko apne aur kichna please. Apne aur kichna. Ha, perfect. Perfect. So now what I am going to put? I am going to put this, these seeds here, like this. don't no don't overcrowded them this this much is more than enough i i can use the these seeds in other other box not in the same right so they need to space to grow right so we don't do do not overcrowded them now what i will do i will just sprinkle a thin layer of soil a thin layer layer of soil only so seed will be only covered that's it and seeds are covered and little bit visible as well right can you see these yes right and now the last part is you have to water it i am not watering it because i am sitting on a table and i when i water it it will become little a mess so i am not doing it right now i will do it after some time so this is how this is the way you can start your seeds is it clear yes so uh, there are seeds many seeds you can you know start like this like a uh, mustard seeds chili seeds ye soil ko kaise banana hai i told you 80% of coco peat and 20% of vermi compost theek okay this is the this is only for the saplings not yeah. for the entire plant when saplings are ready you can transfer it in a bigger pot when you are transferring your uh, veggies in a bigger pot so make sure the uh, soil mix should be 50% of garden soil and 50% of vermi compost is it clear 50% yeah. of garden soil and 50% of the vermi compost and that is amazing you will get very good result in your uh, when you are growing a veggie in it so this is how you can grow methi seeds you can note down the seeds how you can uh, you can apply this method and you can grow uh, these are the seeds like mustard seeds chili seeds uh, fenugreek seeds you can grow like this and it is very easy and you can make your microgreen as well by following these uh, small steps and again i just going to tell you that when you are planning to grow a chili plant you don't need to buy chili seeds if you have red chili at home like these what do you have to do just split 
and you will see seeds are there these are very healthy and perfect seeds just what you have to do take out take out the seeds and put them in the water in the night and next day in the morning put them put them in the same way in the soil and you will get saplings within one week and next thing what you have to do after putting the water you have to cover this box with the kitchen roll that plastic roll you get uh, you know kitchen roll and just put some holes in it so cling cling film yeah the cling film yeah cling okay. film you no know, cover with the cling film and then put some holes in it so uh, uh, seeds can breathe but at the same time uh, it will create a certain amount of humidity so uh, uh, seeds will uh, seed will sprout very fast so if uh, it's going to take one week to sprout uh, it, when you cover the uh, box it will take lesser time so it can grow in four days only so if you want to uh, accelerate accelerate the process you need to cover the uh this box and second thing you are not supposed to keep these boxes in direct sunlight you have to keep your seedlings and your uh, seeds box in the bright light but not in the direct sunlight if you put uh, your uh, seedlings and your seed boxes in direct sunlight you will spoil all the seeds because you know when the sun is out there the photo photosynthesis process is very high if you force your plant to grow faster at the at the end you will lose everything so you are not supposed to put your plant direct uh, these seedlings and saplings and uh, these seeds in the direct sunlight so you have to remember this thing as well second uh, second seed i'm just going to tell you see i was planning to i uh, show you sweet potato potato how to grow but i was not able to find a sweet potato so i am using a potato just imitating the sweet potato this is i'm just going to tell you the process and you have to put the sweet potato instead of this potato only right is it clear any doubt so what i am going to do i am using these two picks so can you see these eyes these are called eyes these these and these these are eyes when i will put this stuff in uh, this potato in water these eyes will grow and make a plant so what i am going to do i am going to use i am going to prick these uh, toothpick in the potato like this right and i am taking a glass of water here and i will put it like this so the bottom of this potato will touch the water can you see the bottom of the potato is wet right so only the bottom of the potato will touch the water and you have to put it in the bright light and within a week you will see the leaves over here on the top of the potato and it will start trailing once you will see the healthy root system down there you can transfer this potato in the soil and it will grow very fast because sweet potato is a very fast grower plant it grows so fast and so beautifully and foliage is very beautiful i grow sweet potato only for the foliage maroon foliage it looks amazing so this is how you can grow your sweet potato and then next we are going to talk about mint how many days it takes sweet potato it will take a uh, one week to show some sign of uh, leaves like uh, in, in within a week you will see the, these eyes will start popping out with small baby tiny uh, leaves and you will start seeing the roots as well here and but uh, i i will tell you one thing that key of gardening is patience nothing grows in within you know just 
inflict you have to wait you have to wait for everything you know they everything has their own pace to grow and every and it depends on the it, it depends on the climate as well so if if something is growing here in within a week maybe that that can take 10 days in your area so that depends also your climate is very you know very important for your crops so here it is very hot so things are growing very fast so saplings are also getting really fast but in, we cannot so eat of coriander in this season because it is very hot outside and i know my coriander seeds are going to die that's why coriander is very expensive in summers in north india because they are very tough to grow in summers they cannot grow but if i am going to grow a cucumber it is very easy because sapling is going to show in 3 to 4 days because this hot weather is really good for cucumber seed but not good for the coriander seed so it depends on the seeds nature as well the climate is very important it plays a very important role to grow any seeds right so here i am going to show you how to grow mint you can grow mint entire year And Kushbu, is, sorry, Kushbu. One thing we have a quest. We have a few questions about potatoes specifically. Yeah. Which kind of pot should we use? Mangala Mukherjee is asking. For a, a potato. When you have to start a potato, when you want to start, you can use. Ah, uh, what I do, I use those plastic water bottles. I cut cut them in half because I don't throw them. so whatever bot bottle i am getting i use i just keep them handy i cut them in half and i pour the water and i use only ro water here because water quality is very poor here so i don't use tap water while propagating these product these uh, seeds because it's very tough water is very harsh so you have to think how what is the quality the quality of your tap water then accordingly use so i will i would suggest you always use ro water for the good results maybe you can lose or your uh, no potato can rot or don't fall in that situation just go and use ro water only so i okay. use only ro water so i we have, we have one more question kushbu yeah so like it's, this is my personal question i have i have planted sweet potato and uh, i don't know when to dig it up now because if you dig it up it'll it'll get killed right the plant so how do i know when to dig it up open so you see you don't kill the plant you know uh, it is very beautiful plant days of beauty in sweet potato what do you have to do just uh, uh, you know cut the uh, cut the vine and you can propagate that vine you don't need to throw that plant it grows again from one sweet potato you can make many you know when you are you no know, you are harvesting sweet potato just cut the vine and propagate it in another pot they all will come in they will they all will grow within a within week or 10 days it will again grow again and you, they they will start making sweet potato again so don't throw them don't throw the vines they will grow back thank you uh kushbu one request from the audience if you, your face is getting cut from your eyes upwards you can just yeah thank you actually i was showing uh, yeah. these stuff na so that's why i have just yeah. done thank that. you thank okay. you yeah Please so uh, once you you got the roots properly just use a deeper pot not the broad pot so whenever we grow any vining plant we need a deeper pot which is like 16 inches pot or 18 inches pot and 16 inches pots are really good for growing a vining plant and uh, for these uh, like for these like potatoes and all i use grow bags 16 inches of grow bags those, those are really good and you will get very good harvest and your plant will be healthy and they will get enough space to grow their roots so always try to use a bigger pot not the small one the uh, your if your pot is small you will not get good harvest so for good harvest you need a bigger pot so use accordingly choose accordingly sorry so second plant is uh, second uh, sorry ma'am uh, can i ask you something uh, when you uh, put this potato sweet potato into the pot and you plant it into the pot does it grow uh, horizontally does it propagate within the pot or it will be just one sweet potato under one uh, no see uh, what i do you know when i grow sweet potato one potato i just uh, put in the uh, this uh, pot and i get many 
I get many, but sizes are not that big which you get from the market because they are using so many, you know, uh, chemical fertilizers. So you get big size of, of uh, sweet potato. But I don't use that kind of chemical fertilizer. I use only organic fertilizer. So I I do get very good harvest at home. And then what I do, I just reproduce them with the vine. And it takes time. It it takes time. It's it takes time like a year for me here. So when yeah. the foliage is good enough, you assume it is the the. Now nah, foliage is amazing. Good. It comes in three colors. Three. It comes in three colors, like uh, and uh, two types of foliage: uh, neon neon green, maroon, and pink and gray. And one is maroon, but with the different foliage shape. So it vining is very beautiful. You you can use use it as an ornamental, or in, uh, you can put it in your you know garden. And you can, uh, if you want to add some color, you can use your sweet potato vine. It is very beautiful. I have all of them. I have all three colors at home. Thank you. Just requesting uh, audience to please put your questions in the chat, just so that uh, we can make sure Kushpu finishes all the topics. Please go ahead, Kushpu. So next, I'm going to show you how to grow mint. So first of all, I'm just going to show my happy plant here. This is my plant which I have grown from the cutting only, and I am saving the seeds right now. You can you see the flowers of mint? I'm letting them dry so I can have seeds for the next season. And when I was growing it, it had only three four cuttings here, and now look at this. So how I did it? I have bought some uh, got, uh, mint from the market. and i have some cuttings as well like this right you have to choose healthy stems not the very thin stems you have to choose the thicker one right like, like this so what you need to do you have to remove leaves from it just remove all the leaves and use for making chutney and all <laughs> so these are called nods 1 2 3 4 5 these are called nods these are called nods and from here roots will start when you put it in the water so what i am going to do i will put it directly into the water and make sure at least two nods are into the water not only one at least two knots i am taking two knots one and two here right so i am putting it in directly into the water and i am doing the same thing with other cuttings as well and let let these small leaves over there so they can grow faster see here also don't remove them let it be there right can you see if i am showing it the small leaves yes yes yeah, let it be there don't remove them okay and just remove the top part don't let it be here just snip it off and just remove the other leaves as well and just here i am again taking two nods one and two and if you are taking a bottle it is amazing i'm just for the for this class only i'm just using this glass otherwise i use bottles only so that is best because then the three nods will be in the water and the more chances to grow the cuttings so don't worry out of five cuttings four four cutting is going to grow for sure that is my assurance if you follow the right you know path so what you are supposed to do you have to change water in every five days you cannot keep the uh, cuttings in the same water for long at the end what you see all cuttings will rot because Uh, water had that tendency to uh, tendency to uh, to get infections to get algae to get other things so you are supposed to change the water in every 5 days right so you then your uh, your cutting will be healthy and sound and and mint you know grow really fast so within 2 or 3 days you will see the tiny roots over here and when once the root system is healthy and you can see enough root system is there you can transfer these to the soil and you will see it will grow like anything 
and if you see your plant is growing in single stems like this let me show you for for example if it is showing like it is growing in one single stem so what you have to do just cut it like this and it will start making branches branches from here only so if any any plant at home like kadi patta if it is growing in single stem just chop the top part and it will start making branches from the same place right so this is how you have to follow the rules soil have, proportion what is the soil proportion to be taken for mint for mint it, you can grow it in any normal garden soil it doesn't need any you know any fertilizer i don't put anything in it it is growing like this sometimes i i provided a uh, seaweed fertilizer which is very easy to provide and it is organic and it is really good and it is easily easily available on amazon so i use sometimes uh, seaweed fertilizer while watering it i put some drops of seaweed fertilizer and i put it in the pot and that's it it's a normal it's in can you see it's in a normal garden soil if you see the pot it's a normal yeah right so you don't need any fancy soil for mint and chili as well right somebody has sorry. to uh, sorry i mute i muted them i muted them don't worry thank you is it i should go forward <laughs> yes if she should go forward please put a yes in chat and please encourage kushboo for a fantastic session so next is lemon grass <clears throat> so i have been growing lemon grass from long and i, I have uh, made i have made uh, many plants from the single stem, single plant and i have gifted to my friends as well and this one is also growing from my friend <laughs> so this one i have propagated i have chopped it in a half right this was it was like this only when i put it into the water and look at the root system can you see the healthy roots yeah right and this is the entirely new part which has grown after the propagation this is the new stem as uh, see new leaves are there and it is growing very fast it it's growing every day 2 inches i think because it is only 10 day it has been only 10 days since i have started it and look at this how long it is so what you have to do you have to do nothing just get a lemon grass and just cut this off use the half part and put the other half the root part in the water like this only you have to fill the water like just half of it so just don't you uh, know don't full don't uh, put water just put half glass of water in your container and then use it and keep changing water in every 5 days and when you propagate anything in water what you uh, what you can do how you can provide nutrition to your plant just take 1 liter of water in con one container and add 2 to 3 drops of seaweed 2 to 3 drops of seaweeds and put that water in container so your saplings will grow really fast and it is a very healthy way to grow because seaweed is totally organic these are not chemical based fertilizer so i only use seaweed fertilizer so if you are growing anything in water just use seaweed water in it so you will be able to grow them faster i had a question kushbu where do you get seaweed how to get seaweed amazon amazon easily available buy one get one offer is there you can buy you can get one free so i can show you the bottle as well but right now it's not here so i have to go for so i will show you some other time or uh, there are many out there you can order any any one the all are but make sure you have to check that it is organic or not because there are others also available on the uh, on the site so you have to choose a organic seaweed fertilizer liquid fertilizer sorry there are like liquid fertilizer is good very good for plants and here i am growing sorry kushpur there was a question related to the seaweed navrata shenor is asking 
how often do i need to use a seaweed fertilizer whenever you change huh. the water whenever you are changing the water just pour that water only don't use other water just take our 1 liter ro water in a container and put 2 to 3 drops in of seaweed in that water and pour that water in all your water propagation containers and put your plant back that's it thank you and next what i am growing here can you guess the plant can anyone guess? anyone the sampling blocky pumpkin. pumpkin brother you can say <laughs> it's a cucumber sampling okay it's a cucumber sampling which is i'm growing from the seed so why i'm growing in it please can you yeah. mute so i have started it with uh, with the uh, seed only so once it will uh, grow some more leaves like four or five leaves more then i will transfer it in a bigger pot 6 in 16 inches pot with the combination of 50% of soil and 50% of vermi compost then i will transfer it in the main pot and when you are growing a vegetable vegetable plant you are supposed to feed them frequently in every 15 days they are they are supposed to be feeded with the vermi compost or any organic fertilizer you are able to get like you can use cow dung as well but it should be processed cow dung you cannot apply normal cow dung you just getting from somewhere and you are just putting it in the pot it's not going to work it's going to uh, no harm your plant you need to use processed cow dung fertilizer or vermi compost so when it, i have propagated it or uh, from last 15 days it's been 15 days it is 15 days old plant and after one week i'm going to transfer it in the main pot and i will feed it in every 15 days with vermi compost because i want good harvest if you want good harvest you need to feed them properly when you see, see it it depends it, it just like humans when a mother is pregnant and it is going to give a birth give a give a birth so we 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 feed her with a very good nutrition you know very good food healthy rich food why because it is going to you know give birth to a life same thing with the plant as well when you are it is going to produce food for us it you no know? so we are supposed to provide some good nutri nutrients so it can grow good harvest for us and make sure you don't use pesticide or uh, chemical fertilizer to get grow uh, to to get a big harvest i am more than happy with my small organic cucumber than the bigger cucumber from the uh, chemical fertilizer so this is how i'm going to grow and second thing is very important when you are growing the vegetables you have to check your surroundings you know sometimes we grow plants and uh, it gets so many flowers but we don't get any harvest do you know the reason why it it why, why it is happening it is happening because of the lack of lack of lack of uh, pollination you know because of we have we we are growing concrete jungle in our surroundings you uh, know you cannot see bees or butterflies or moth or bumblebee in our surroundings when pollinators are not there how we are going to get our harvest when our plant is not getting pollinated right so you have to check that also you have to grow some flowering plant as well in your garden to get you uh, know pollinators so they can pollinate your plants to get a good harvest right you cannot sit and pollinate your flowers on your own all the time right so you have to check that as well because sometimes it happens it happened with me i i was growing a chili plant and it was a very big chili plant and it was loaded with flowers and i was waiting for my harvest but it didn't give me a single chili and i was very disheartened i was not aware of the reason why it happened with me then i later i got to know that because of the lack of pollination i was not able to get any 
harvest so if you have to check your surroundings let the caterpillars grow don't use harm chemicals or pesticide on your plants you will you are going to kill all the caterpillars and you will not get anything to eat uh, we had a question uh, related to a cucumber uh, kushbu it was um, we have ruchi is asking i have sown cucumber seed and i've got a sapling in 4 days but i didn't get the true leaves before that the plant died can you help me with what i did ha huh, so okay i have i just forgot to tell you how to take care of the sapling so see see you you are not supposed to keep soil too dry or too too soggy you are supposed to keep the soil moist all the time see my soil is if you can see i i'm it's in my hand it's very tough look it's not it's not soggy and it's not dry it's not sticking my in my finger right but it is moist it's not dry look if you overwater it it will die if you underwater it it will die so what do you have to check soil should be moist not dry or not soggy you are supposed to keep it moist like this mine is moist can you see it's not dry or not soggy so this is how you have to take care of sapling same thing with the seeds as well you have to sprinkle the water you cannot pour the water with your with your uh, no you just take the glass and going to water it like this no you are not supposed to water your seeds like this what you have to do just uh, keep your container here and just take the water in your hands and just sprinkle it don't pour water like this then you are going to kill your seeds and don't keep your saplings in the direct sunlight once they are um, they have enough leaf like six or seven leaf then transfer in the bigger pot and then keep it in direct sunlight don't keep saplings in direct sunlight that is also the reason of dying saplings thank you and second uh, seed is a uh, ginger i forgot to tell you <laughs> my table is loaded with the equipment i'm telling you <laughs> so this is i have a ginger seed or i can use it to make my tea or anything but can you see the eye over here can you see the eye here it means it can grow a plant right so what do you have to do you have to do nothing for this ginger it is very easy plant to grow and you don't need a specific soil combination for it you can grow it in normal soil composition in normal garden soil so what you are supposed to do just take the container of soil or any pot and just dig your ginger seeds with the eye it should be it should have a eye if eye is not there it is not going to grow any plant right so you have to check if i is not there or right if i is there you are going to grow a plant so what you have to do you have to take a container i'm showing in this spot only and you have to dig it only 1 inch deeper only 1 inch deeper not more than that just dig your ginger seed seed 1 inch deep, uh, deeper and just let it be and water it frequently keep the soil moist and you will see the sapling in a week i think and uh, next plant i'm going to talk about is tomato the same way i have i have used uh, coriander seeds this is the same process i'm going to use for the tomato seeds so what you have to do just take the tomato seeds some tomato seeds you need to buy from the market you cannot you cannot get it at home so you have seen some videos on youtube that they are using that red uh, uh, seeds from direct from the tomatoes and growing their uh, plants it's not going to happen you will not able to get any saplings these are totally fake videos so what do you have to do just get the seeds from the market that is the way you are supposed to do just get the seeds soak them in the night and use the same process the way i have 
you know, uh, which I have used for the coriander seeds. Just put your uh, put the soil, fill the pot half, and then sprinkle the uh, tomato seeds and cover the seeds with the thin layer of soil. When saplings are there, just distribute them in different different pots and grow them. Don't worry, Kushbu. We we are collecting the questions for you. Yeah. Just make sure we cover all the ten plants. Have you finished? Yeah, we have. Great. I told you I, I, yeah. all the ten plants because mustard, tomato, and uh, other plants we have to use same process, same process to grow those seeds. So and other seeds I have shown. I have already shown the way uh, how to grow. So I think I have covered all the seeds. Okay, great. Uh, okay, Chiku, you want to uh, take over and share the questions? Yes. Uh, so, we have a question from Abhijit, uh, who is asking, what is the reason for not getting tomato seeds at home? And uh, he tried the same method, uh, what you have mentioned right now, but it did not work. So can you just guide him like where he went wrong? Yeah, actually for the, uh, for growing seeds, uh, see, uh, for, uh, for growing plants from the seeds, we need mature seeds, right? And what we uh, eating, uh, we are, if we are eating a tomato, the seeds are not that mature. So that's why you are not getting a plant out of it. So for that, you have to buy seeds from the market and then you can grow. I hope Abhijit that answers your question. We have a question, we have a question from Sir Saroj. Uh, next question. How do you start uh, with cucumber? How to start cucumber? Just use the same soil which I have told you, right? And get this uh, cucumber seeds from the market. You cannot get the cucumber seeds from the cucumber because they are all uh, uh, juvenile seeds which is, which we are able to eat. Those are not, we are not supposed to grow. We have to get those seeds from the market and try to get the organic seeds because nowadays uh, you, you will be able to find hybrid seeds and all. So don't go for that. Don't go for the fancy seeds. Just buy normal organic seeds and just put them like this which... I have uh, no already uh, described the method. So use the same method to grow the sapling. And then when you saplings are ready, you can transfer them in the bigger pot and try to get a deeper pot, not the bigger, deeper pot is very important. Okay, thank you. Uh, Chiku, you're over to you, please. Yeah. Can I ask one question, please? Yeah, ma'am, I would like to know, you have explained it beautifully. When is the season, the when to grow? Can you yeah, give me yeah, yeah, I can tell you. Yeah, in Delhi, actually, I don't know which uh, location you are in because it I'm is a very day. I'm in North India, I'm in Noida, and it is very hot here, so I can grow all the dry vegetables. area, actually, that's what I'm asking. When yeah. to grow because cucumber, bottle gourd, and all these seasonal vegetables. These, these, are, these are meant to grow in summers. So we can sow the seeds now? Yeah, it is very hot. Se seeds will come up in four or five days only. Okay. And how long does it take to get the produce, ma'am, to get the fruits? It takes a month. If you are following the right process, it will take a month to get a small cucumber at home. <laughs> and uh, as you're saying, propagation of seeds and, uh, you know, pollination. So we need to grow the flower plants as well uh, in the yeah. summer. And yeah. which flower plant you would recommend at this time? See, if you are if you are living in a society which is green and beautiful, it has already so many plants and trees, then you don't need to do that. It's perfectly fine. And if you are living in, where you don't get 
uh, flies, butterflies, or bees, then you are supposed to grow. And this is the season of portulucas and porcelanae. These are the flowers. You know, it is very cheap. They are very cheaper. You you can get a plant in twenty bucks only, and you can buy. in numbers and you can put them in your balcony and they look beautiful and they attract lots of flies and lots of bees and bumble bees and then your your job is done and your plant will get pollinated easily i have okay. uh, i have those in a no many okay thank you so much thank you so much and you can grow uh, this uh, curry pal if you have curry leaf plants then definitely you are going to have lots of caterpillars have you seen that uh, black and white butterflies mostly yeah, 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 it yeah. laid uh, her uh, eggs on the kadi patta leaves and okay. please do not kill that caterpillar let them grow let them eat some leaves and let them grow to you not know, turn into a beautiful butterfly i always you know support them i have you know i have seen entire process of that butterfly i put them in the box and i let them eat the leaves and i let them turn into a leaf and a butterfly so this is how i'm trying to help the environment so do not use harsh chemical or or pesticide on your plant because unknowingly you are going to kill some beautiful butterflies for the future kushbu uh, how to protect from insects in case there are you know which are eating the the leaves and all uh, what sort of uh, spray we should do as you're saying spray should not be done yeah so Uh, see uh, neem oil is the best solution for all the plants neem oil you have to get the organic neem uh, cold compressed neem oil don't get from the medical one like you, you yeah definitely it is going to be expensive but for it is a one time investment you have to order a organic cold compressed neem oil and just take uh, a calling bottle spray bottle or any spray bottle of 1 liter put the 1 liter water in it put one uh, tablespoon of uh, liquid soap and put two tablespoon of neem oil and keep shaking the bottle and spray your plant but you have to be very cautious while spraying the plant you are not supposed to spray your plant in the day time whenever there is a pest attack on your plant always use spray in the evening when sun is down right when sun is down then spray your plant and next day in the morning before uh, before it's too hot just shower your plant with the normal normal water so it can breathe otherwise uh, sun will be there then photosynthesis process will start and it will burn your plant will burn so what you have to do spray in the night or uh, in the evening around 5 to 6 o'clock when it is cooler than the day and then shower your plant next day and pests are pests pests are still there then keep uh, you know repeating this process in every alternate days so you will be able to prevent your plant from the pest attack but what i follow uh, generally i have almost like 5 to 600 plants at home and I, i don't count i think more than that so what uh, what i am doing touch wood i am not getting any pest issues why because in every second day i shower all my plants so it i just imitate the rain the way rain wipe out all the impurities or eggs of all pest the way i am using the same method i am using a pipe you know and i am just showering all my plants so that is helping me to you know prevent the pest attack on my plant ma'am just last question any idea on hydroponic you have yeah see this is this is a hydroponic way to grow a plant this is a, this is called hydroponic only but we need not to shift it to soil in that case you mean to say see hydroponic way uh, you you have to be very patient plant will grow very slow and if you want Uh, to grow a plant really faster you can grow then you have to transfer a plant in the soil because nutrition part is very limited in the water you cannot put a uh, 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 you cannot uh, feed your plant frequently so nutri uh, they will not get nutrient all the nutrient they require right so when you are when you are transferring the plant in the soil so we will be able to provide all the nutrients so plant can grow really faster and beautifully 
so this is how uh, this is why we are supposed to put our plant in the and if you if you compare hydroponic plant or a plant which is in uh, soil you can see the difference in the growth okay you mean to say soil growth will be faster than hydroponic yeah yeah perfectly yeah true ma'am one last question then i'll stop uh, any information on 3g 2g cutting on these sorry 3g 2g cutting 3g 2g cutting can you elaborate i don't know yeah ma'am what happens when the plant starts growing like you know what you are saying cucumber or maybe bottle gourd or bitter gourd ghee tori mm-hmm. or right. Right. once it grows to a length then we cut it so that you it branches off you know into and then further yeah that's what i told you i told you the same thing earlier na i was in telling in case you. of in case of mint you were saying the same thing, yeah I, no i told you any plant hmm. i told you i i told you the same thing any plant which is growing in the single stem hmm. or hmm. single creeper what you have to do you have to just cut it off and it will start branching from the same place hmm. and then again you uh, see what i will do soon i will i'm going to chop this entire part in half okay to make it more bushy so i will use the half of it and it will make an it, it will become more bushier and i apply this method in all my plant to make them bushy this is the best way to make your pot bushy if you want a bushier plant you have to keep trimming it and the produce will be uh, more in that case because yeah. you, you have more branches to get the yeah. fruit in Correct, correct. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. It's all from my side. Thank you so much. Thank you for your questions. That uh, potato plant needs an acidic, uh, you know, soil. Uh, I wanted to know, Kushbu, how do you make your soil, you know, suitable for potato? Yeah. So yeah, true. The uh, plant need acidic soil. So I I need to provide them good fertilizer. So what I use, uh, for now I am just uh, making composting at home only. So my and uh, my sources. totally kitchen waste for my plants i'm using i i'm composting i'm making i'm using all my kitchen waste uh, in my compost bin and i'm making my own fertilizer and, and touch wood it is working amazingly for my plants and my plants are growing really well i don't need to add anything in it and they are just growing so this is how i'm maintaining it so if you want organic fertilizer is the key of anything you if you want uh, acidic soil just use uh, uh this uh, organic uh, organic vermi compost or cow dung it will sort all your problems so you don't need to work anything See, else you also said you know processed cow dung by processed you mean that you know that what we call uh, well rotted cow dung which is just yeah yeah, so, yeah. Started, uh, should it be kept aside to be called as well rotted manure or well rotted compost but we cannot do it at home because it it will be you know first starting period will be very smelly for you and if you are able to Ha huh. so, yeah it is very tough to do it at home so i don't do it but yeah i am composting and it is easy to do so i am i have started composting and i my source of uh, compost is my waste i have kept the cow dung in one part i i just wanted to know how long should we let it be you know and just wait just wait a minute uh, just wait a minute my battery is on let me put it on the charging so then i will answer your question just wait in the meantime while kushboo is there i request uh, everyone who is comfortable to please put on your camera so we can take one photograph together uh, we will be sharing it on our social media so by switching it on you, you can please like take a photograph with us we'd be very happy to uh, keep a record of this wonderful session with you in it requesting everyone to please put on your photos uh, your camera so we can have one photograph which we can share with kushboo as well Sir, you'll have to give me few seconds because uh, my address is not worthy to get clicked. Just give me a few seconds, please. You know how we sit at home. Yeah, thank you. Thank you to everyone who's putting on the camera. Yeah, Kushku. So yeah, I'm here. Can you repeat your question, ma'am? Yeah. So I wanted to know how long should we let the you know cow dung sit, and should it be in sun or shade or and anything else we're supposed to do? If it is in if it is in sun, that is really good. It will you know it will right. make the process faster. Yeah, it is really good if you keep it in the sun. And but try to not let it you uh, know wet in the rain. If rain is there, you have to you know very well equipped to protect them, protect it from the rain. Because if rain is there. 
you it it is going to be a mess for you i'm telling you a lot of maggots lots of uh, other insects will be there and you will be not able to stand in front of the smell so <laughs> Uh, so I I actually collected the one which was already dried and I'm keeping it dry. Uh, I wanted to know how many months should I just let it sit? At least I... at least one and half month. At least okay. one and half month. Yeah. Right. And you know, it's fresh. You check, if you have to, and you have to check. Is fresh cow dung acidic? Yeah, it is very acidic. Okay. Thank you so much. And well, I, uh, one second, one second, one second before you ask the next question, Chiku, can you please share the feedback form and link in the chat? So while the next question is being answered, people can start uh, just giving us feedback on the session. Please take this. Uh, please take this link. It will take you ten seconds. It is your learning before the session and after the session. And if you want to give us detailed feedback, you can give that that also in the bottom. Uh, yes, over to whoever was asking a question. But please, okay, give I back in the link. I tried uh, home composting uh, by doing all my this one, and uh, then I put my uh, what's that methi seeds, but it came up and it died immediately. I don't know why, because I think it was too acidic. Yes, that can be the reason. You have over fertilized it. You have yeah. See, if your fertilizer is really good, then you have to check how much uh, quantity. How see if your fertilizer is really good, then you are not supposed to use a lot of it. Just use yeah. enough one enough one feast is more than enough for a sapling. Don't yeah, use but the the thing is, uh, in Dubai we don't have the like you know we don't have the soil, so we have to actually purchase the soil. So what I did was I was doing a home composting. I'm uh, giving awareness on home composting and uh, seeing to it that uh, our waste can be reduced. And actually, I found that almost half of my waste was reduced. So then I tried whether it could work with this home compost thing only whether I could uh, put uh, on the plant. But what I found was this home composting is so strong that the normal plants will not survive. No, no, it will, I, they will survive. You have to you have to be very careful while using it. See, I am using it. So in the start, what I have told you, the proportion of the soil is eighty percent of coco peat and twenty percent of vermi compost only. Right. So that this will be calculated as a vermi compost, right? Yeah. So when now when you are using home compost, then you are supposed to use ninety percent of coco peat and ten percent of home compost. Mine is fully for fully home compost. <laughs> so, you know, you are making a mistake. You no, no, no. <laughs> I I tried. It just was a try. It's not that like you know. I wanted to try whether it, it works it or not. It is just like that. You are gymming and you had entire uh, protein shake, entire dabba of protein protein shake in one day. So how you are going yeah. to work out next day? It's Correct. not going to work, cool. right? The same thing is happening with your. Seeds. Yeah. So so basically, I have to put more of the this one and uh, ten okay. percent. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, actually, I'm using this. Uh, I'm donating this uh, home compost to the school. Because okay. I'm uh, quite uh, active Rajesh, in the school, so doing Rajesh, that. Yeah. I'm going. To, I'm going to have to interrupt you because we're past six o'clock. Is there any more questions? Uh, because we need to wrap up. I'm very sorry, Rajesh. One more question. Space for other people to ask questions. So coco peat. So uh, I hear that coco peat has very high salt content. You know, which many plants can't uh, tolerate. Like for the same reason, you're using RO water, right? No, so, no, no. So uh, let me clear. Let me clear the myth here. So. Uh, There is a way to use co coco peat. Whenever I use coco peat, I soak my coco peat for two three hours in the water. Then I wash it in like three times. I wash the coco peat three times and I uh, I keep it on the I spread that on the paper and I let it let it that coco there only for two three hours and then I use it. I never use coco peat directly from the market. I always wash them properly and then use it. So whenever you are getting anything from the market like uh, perlite or leca balls or uh, this uh, uh, coco chip coco chips or uh, coco peat, you are supposed to wash them before the use. It is called sterilization of everything before using th th these stuff. Do you have any new uh, brands that you know it's good, right? Fish emulsion, vermi compost, coco peat, perlite. Uh, if it's the amazon link if you share it in the chat it will be useful for many of us ma'am actually uh, see, uh, they, uh, since i have been doing this uh, gardening from long five years so i have my fixed spots here in noida only i get all the procurements from the local nurseries and i believe 
to get stuff you know i have to see them i have to check them i have to feel the texture then i buy if anything i buy for my plants i check them personally then i buy i don't i don't believe in online stuff i only get seaweeds from the amazon nothing else i buy from the uh, online shops i go to the no local nurseries i check the stuff and then i buy so i don't fall in the brand brand game i'm not there i believe in quality i don't believe in brands so garden ki jo share kar bhi acha rahega okay thank you so much uh, khushboo we're going to wrap this up if you have any questions put it in the feedback form i'm putting the link one more time you can put it there all questions will be answered in the blog post which will be will be sending out uh, will be sending out the mail in the next week uh, really lovely session kushbu thank you so much for sharing your experience it was a very good informative session you have inspired me to also go and start now at home oh my god <laughs> i'm 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 i was actually very scared and i have been little nervous also <laughs> while doing it but uh, i hope i'm able to you know help people out there so they can start their gardening at home and they can feel some happiness of seeing the growing seed actually uh, how you all are doing it is it like a, a platform you all have or a, how is it like who are you talk who are you are asking the question to rajesh no i don't know like i just got the invite so i don't know uh, is it from uh, how you all are organizing this event is it like uh, somebody is organizing or uh, how is it is asking for future uh, you know reference is there a whatsapp yeah. group or oh, for, the, for this kind of event rajesh uh, chiku can you just share the instagram page and also if you in the feedback form here i'm putting in the chat if you say yes in the last question we will send you update on these specific webinars to you directly uh, so it's a webinar created all the time we create the webinar yes acha okay uh, okay what's your good name uh, jacob okay thanks jacob thank you rajesh all right thank you for being here we're going to uh, wrap up now uh, chiku can you just share the instagram handles of kushbu and jatka.org and uh, i will share it with everyone here just before you go so there's uh, and kushbu you can enter your social media handles as well okay in the chat and we will we will close the session i think i am not able to write anything don't worry uh, chiku has shared it so thank you very much please follow us these are our social media handles on instagram twitter facebook all of it Uh, at jatka d o t o r g insta kush plan you will find uh, kushbu on instagram thank you for being here today going to thank you so, thank you so much for having me here <laughs> and jacob, showing showing trust sorry, in me sorry kushbu and jacob uh, can we just have a picture before we leave uh, we've taken the picture don't worry chiku we've okay. taken the picture thank you so much okay thank you okay. i'm ending the session bye guys bye have- Thank Stay you so safe. Much. Stay healthy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.